Hey, Tony, I have an annuity with an income rider on it, and I was thinking about taking out some distributions. How would that affect if something happens to me? How would I handle that? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to imagine that we put in $100,000 into what's called an indexed annuity, okay? This is, now again, an income rider we're talking about can be added to a variable annuity, it can be added to a fixed annuity and an income uh, indexed annuity. I like the income annuities that are attached to indexed annuities, which are more geared towards savers. Remember the variable annuities, uh, again, are affected by the stock market. We don't really recommend the stock market. The variable annuities can have high fees. Those are more for investors. The index annuities are more for savers. So let's look at this. Now in this example, an insurance company, we won't name any names here, there's a bunch of them that'll do this. In fact, to get your money, they're willing to even add a $10,000 bonus or 10% of the premium you put in. Another thing to remember about annuities, this money you invest in the insurance company really is, let's call it what it is, it's really a premium. And this is something I cover in my workshops. What a lot of people forget is anything issued by an insurance company, although technically I guess you could call it an investment, you give the insurance company a premium. Now let me quiz you on something here. When you think about any kind of insurance product, whether it's car, home, health, life, okay, medical, it doesn't matter, you give money or you give premiums to an insurance company in exchange for what? risk you cannot handle yourself. Obviously, if you gave money for an insurance premium for a car, you're worried that if you go out and have a million dollar claim, somebody's there to cover it. With annuities, really the main factor of the annuity, especially the fixed annuity, is protection of principal. That's one of the guarantees you're given the premium for. The second is providing a guaranteed income you can never outlive. I like to refer to it as mailbox money. So let's look at how the income rider works, okay? In this example, because they're going to add an income rider on, in this example, it's paying six and a half percent, they can be as high as seven. So already you look at that and say, whoa, wait a minute, a guaranteed income rider at six and a half percent, there's gotta be a catch. Well, it's not really a catch, but you gotta understand the contract. It's not like making six and a half percent at the bank, so hang with me. This is why, John, by the way, we may be covering this into the second segment. This, this is the type of stuff I'm gonna go through pretty quickly, folks, but at workshops, or in our booklets or videos that we provide, we can go in this in more detail. But again, watch what we're doing here. So it makes six and a half percent, and notice there is a fee charged every year of 0.6 on this for the income rider. Because the insurance company has more exposure because they're providing a higher rate, they're gonna charge a fee. Now again, a fixed index annuity, that's not bad compared to a variable annuity fee with the income riders, management fees, et cetera, is about three and a half percent. That's why savers don't like variable annuities. So let's look at the three types of uh, values you can have. You can have a surrender value. Now again, uh, John, I would ask you this. If an insurance company, you're gonna give them $100,000, okay, and you're gonna have a $10,000 bonus added, uh, do you think you're just going to be able to walk in there the next day and yank out all that money? No. Okay. Well, they got to pay the insurance agents a commission, which is fine. They got to set up reserves. And in this example, at the end of year one, if you had to surrender it, you're only going to get back $89,000. So you might ask, well, wait a minute, Tony, what in the world happened to my 6.5%, right? It didn't really exist. That's the point. We're going to show you how this 6.5% comes into play. So yeah, if you had to surrender it, that's a pretty big deal. So you don't want to take out one of these products if in fact you're thinking I might need the money in short order. These are long-term retirement planning products. All right, let's go over to the second value that is listed within the contract and it's called the contract value and this is what's indexed to the stock market but it does not have any risk. So what happens is if the market goes up you get a portion. We've talked about indexed annuities on this show before. So let's just say for the heck of it, uh, let's imagine we're showing this going up at 3%. All right, This is the index side. So at the end of that year you would have $113,000. So John that's not quite as bad is it, right? No. So And you got the bonus and if you were to die this is what goes to your heirs. So they'd get $113,000. Not bad especially when you consider that's pretty safe. Sure. You with me? Okay, not bad. Now let's get over to what I call the income side. All right, And it's important to note that this is what's guaranteed to grow every year at six and a half percent. We may have to slide over just a little bit. I'll, I'll move over here just a tad. I want to stay focused in on this. Because this is guaranteed, 
you would actually have at the end of the first year $117,000. Now what is this column really for? And this is where it gets confusing. Folks, let me tell you something. There are a lot of people out there that are selling these annuities now, whether it's through dinner seminars, mailers. A lot of people now, the big pitch is, let me look at your social security and they do an analysis. Well, a lot of them are really wanting to talk about annuities. So be very, very careful here because a lot of them are leading with this concept of I'll make you six and a half. I'll make you 7% guaranteed. That's really a half truth. That is true, but it's only effectuated if you use it for income. Let me show you how this works. So what happens is when somebody's ready for what I call mailbox money, okay, we'll put that here, what the insurance company is able to do is they're saying, oh, you want a guaranteed income you can't outlive? What we'll do, we'll take this amount and we'll multiply it by what's called a payout rate. Now, if you were to take income, I've done the calculation in this example, that would pay you, and John, I'm sure you wouldn't think this is too bad. What they're saying is, if you decide to elect mailbox money, we'll take 5% of this value, and we would pay you $5,272 a year, guaranteed for the rest of your life. How's that sound? That sounds pretty nice. I like the sound of mailbox money. Okay. <laughs> so again, yeah, so what we're saying is this income rider, all right, it's very important to understand. We're gonna come back in the next segment here and, and share with you how these three columns work, but the income rider is a real number. But for those of you who are numbers people or maybe you're in the accounting profession, just think of it as an accounting feature of the product. It is not a number that can ever be liquidated. All right, so I see people coming to me and they've met with advisors and they say, hey, I've been told I can get six and a half percent. It's guaranteed. I can, I can walk away with the money at some point down the road. That is not true. You can't walk away with any of this amount. This amount is used to calculate mailbox money. So if the person comes in after the first year and gets mailbox money, it's 5,200. Now let's imagine this, John. Let's slide back over here. Let's say they waited five years, never touched the annuity. So the surrender value is starting to go up. So that's looking a little better. So if they were to surrender the contract after five years, they'd get 94, closer to what they had. Let's say the contract value kept going up at 3%, so they'd have 127,520. So in this case, if they were to die, their heirs would get that amount. But now, the income account, because it's growing at 6.5%, that's getting a pretty big number, isn't it, John? 150 wow. grand. Okay, and this is guaranteed. How do you get that money, though, John? Well, you have to wait. You can't, so you, you can't ask for it immediately. You have to wait till you retire there. That's right. Mailbox you money. You have to elect income, which it goes up because you're getting older, 75, 35 a year.